Her name was Rachel. That's my middle name. <laughs> Guys, when you do your knees here, what angle do you think I'm going to hold it at? Diagonal back again. Yeah, diagonal back. Diagonal back. Diagonal back. All the way up. And I'm just thinning it out a little bit. I'm not creating bald spots. I'm just thinning it out a little bit so it lays down flush. Very nicely, yeah. Sorry about that. Does anybody have any idea what time this class ends? Was there a sign? Like an, hour, an hour ago, I think. Yeah. Is there a sign outside on when the next class starts? Uh, yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> are you guys learning, though? Are you guys yeah. learning? Okay. Is it okay if we stick around? As you guys already have heard, Tony and I can over talk and talk oh, about it in our mouth. But I'll always go over. The next, whoever's next will always be waiting on the side, tapping in for that, like, we're up next, we're going to get off the stage. <laughs> Uh, styling, yeah. Uh, I know it's a couple of steps ago, but Same. you're trimming around the ear and yeah. the face. Is yeah, yeah. it any different with curly hair? Uh, okay. Or like, because I know like the trimming, the shaping of the back, mm -hmm. some hair, is that, like the edges goes like out curly, sideways. Like curly like, yeah, is that curly yeah. or curly like stressed out, tight curly? <laughs> like, that. like that curly? Yeah, yeah, so it's the same. So you just brush it out. Love the baby brush, guys. It's like a, it's like a dollar. You like, did you bring your beard? Nah, yeah. You brought all this stuff with all the mirror. mirror. Look at all the stuff. It's paperwork. <laughs> yeah, so to, to uh, go around the ear. So if you notice, I actually took his sideburns to a point. Why do you think I took? Why do you think I took this to a point? We're almost done. Why do you guys think I took this to a point as opposed to leaving it flat and square? Because you can't see his cheekbone. Look different. Yeah, somebody, somebody who who needs uh, more dimension on the, around the cheekbone. If you add a half moon shape, it'll actually accent where there really is no cheekbone. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Whereas if it was a square, it would just look like a flat, like a flat side. Like a flat side. Are we working our way out? Yeah, everybody's are taking selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Digital age, right? I forgot my mirror, so we're going to use a selfie. Uh, I'm going to talk about what we did here with Evan. Um, we gave him a number two fade here. I squared off the back and the neck. I trimmed the top. Um, the techniques that I used on this, I used attachment combs, I used clipper over comb, and I used clipper over finger. I actually didn't use any shears on this haircut at all. A question that, that gets asked all the time, and we've seen Tony use thinning shears, right? Uh, thinning shears are important. And you say, you know what, I can do almost the entire haircut, but I still need my thinning shears to soften the area around the prior ridge. Tony, I've been keeping a secret from you. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever shown you this, but you see the bottom of this blade? Oh, wow. You see how it's missing a yeah. bunch of teeth? Yeah. This here um, is called the T24. This is a texturizing blade. Oh, so when you use it. your thinning shears, what I did is I used clipper over comb. Are you guys? I used clipper over comb with my texturizing blade. So just as clippers work as regular shears, your texturizing blade works as texturizing shears or thinning shears. So I was able to clean the parietal ridge with this special blade. Oh, and it's awesome. <laughs> Does Evan look good? Does Evan look good? Yes or no? Yeah? Can we clap for Evan, please? Does Tony look good? I'm talking about this Tony here. <laughs> Oh, he got a comb here. over too. Yeah, see? Who knew? <laughs> was this the same guy that walked up here? No. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and here's the, here's the beauty. I, 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 and, you know, I, I don't know. We use the word arousal in a sexual term. But I got to tell you something. If this industry doesn't arouse you, you're looking for a long haul of just working hard. Like, you've got to really love this industry. I love I I can sit here and in, in, in 25, 30 minutes, a person can stand in front of a mirror and say, God, I look eight to ten years younger. I never thought I could look this way. And I love it when I get these phone calls from, from wives saying, I need to set up an appointment for my husband. He needs to come see you. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing to build up a clientele where they want to come back and see you. It's another thing when their spouse says, you need to go visit Gina. You need to go visit Tom. You need to go visit John. Right? That's the clientele you want to build. By the way, guys, if you want a quick little secret on being successful and building a clientele, do you guys all have favorite haircuts that you like to do? Go after those haircuts. 
when you're walking around a mall and you see somebody's head and you see their style and you see their color and you know exactly how to do that, guess what? You're, I do your style day in and day out and I would love the opportunity. Love the opportunity. I just love the way you look. Bring in people that you love. This is, this is my style. I love comb overs. Tony here, we knocked off at least five, six years, right? At least. Now he has dimension to his head, right? Tony's like, yes, right? <laughs> he now has dimension to his head. It's not just one big block of hair. And do you guys see what we did on the sides? It's not that bubble, bubble look that yeah. he walked up here with. Now it's dimensionally perfect, and it's set to stone based on his dimensions. It's custom to his head. Does that make sense, guys? How does Tony look good? Yeah. Yeah. Round of applause for Tony. Yes. Uh, uh, my phone number two zero nine. Yeah. Some guys have some colleagues. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Real quick, colleagues. Right. Big problem. Sometimes they have them right in the front. Yeah. Like airline. Oh, it's a disaster. Yeah. First of all, we have to really understand as students what the difference is between a colleague and a whirl. Whirl is. Yeah. So if it's a, in a tornado shape, it's called a whirl. Okay. So you're very limited on those options. If you cut right through it. It'll, it'll, it'll stick back up and it'll be pokey. The only way to style on a whirl is to lay it down how it comes out of the scalp. On an alfalfa, right, that's <laughs> just the hair that stands straight up, that's, that's, your, that's your cowlick. That's what a cowlick is. Uh, on, on those, if you cut it, it'll be spiky. It's better to just grow those out if you can in a style that, that grows it out and lays down. I really recommend that a, a, a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So depending on how low it is, you can do a zero fade and get rid of it, and it'll last them for about two weeks. Um, but there's nothing, like, you can't convince the hair to grow a different way. That's just what they got. That's just what you got. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, uh, before we close out, Tony and I will be on the main stage at 2. Tony, do you have anything else? Yeah. No, just, just you guys, again, thank you so much. We're going to hang out. If you yeah. guys want to come at, up, yeah. up front and ask questions or take pictures, we're here. Come see us. Tag us. Everybody on the floor. Tag